Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla TV, here to talk to you today about how to choose an exhaust for your Harley Dynar Softail. You should be looking into an aftermarket exhaust for your non-touring big twin if you want something that looks and sounds better than what you've got on there from the factory. And in the case of those of you guys considering a full system exhaust, you may also be getting some performance benefits as well. Now we've got lots and lots of exhausts out there for Dynas and Softails primarily, but even if you're on something weird, maybe an older four-speed FX or perhaps you're on an FXR chassis, we've got stuff for you too. Regardless of what you're riding though, throw your bike information into our bike finder. We're gonna show you the stuff that fits your bike exactly to save you any type of a hassle when you're installing your exhaust. Speaking of that installation, some of you are wondering how difficult this is. I'm gonna call it one to two beards on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. And that's gonna depend largely on which exhaust you choose and exactly how much work you're willing to do. We'll get to that a little bit more in depth a little bit later on in the video. Now, some of you aren't gonna wanna hear me sit here and yammer on and on. You might know that you want a slip on exhaust or you know you want a full system and you don't really care what I have to say about the other style exhaust and that's just fine. You can click on that menu to get to the appropriate part of the video to save yourself a little bit of time. Now before any of you listen to me talk at all any further, you should probably listen to the noise a couple of these exhausts make. Here, give a listen. Those all sound pretty decent, right? Regardless of whether you're getting a mufflers only system or you're gonna go with a full system exhaust, that kind of exhaust sound can be yours simply by bolting one of these systems up to your motorcycle. So those of you who are looking at an exhaust, you're probably wondering whether a slip-on or a full system is right for you. And slip-ons really are the starting point. They're easy to install, they offer great looks, and you're gonna get that awesome sound I think that comes part and parcel with owning a Harley Davidson motorcycle. They're not gonna be so great necessarily at making huge gobs of power, but again, at the entry level of things, you are getting a lot of bang for the buck. These are a pretty inexpensive way to change up the sound and attitude of your motorcycle. So you can see we've got kind of a pile of pipes sitting next to me here. I wanna walk through a couple of them with you. These are favorites among those of us here at RevZilla and also our customers. These are pipes you guys have told us time and time again are just as good as we think they are. So let's start off up here. You can see here we've got a Python slash cut slip-on. This is a very basic slip-on muffler. Single wall, chrome slash cut, very traditional look. This is gonna be your entry into the world of mufflers on a Dyna or a Softail. It's a very easy install in here. It's a quality product and it's not going to break the bank. Now moving down the line here, you can see we have a set of uh, Arlen Ness by Magnaflow twin wall back cut slip-ons. These are just a little bit different. You're stepping into a twin wall construction here. So rather than be a single tube like the Python you saw up here, these actually are made of two different wall pipes. And because of that, you can see they have this really cool inverted appearance on the end. This is gonna be important for those of you guys who want something that looks nice and clean, a traditional style exhaust, but you also want it to look nice and tidy from the rear too. This can be a good option for you. Underneath that, you're gonna check out here, we have a set of Vance and Hines twin slash mufflers. Now these protect the exhaust, not through a twin wall, but through a whole separate heat shield that actually bolts right up onto the muffler itself. It's gonna keep a nice uniform look to this. And it's also not gonna show any type of either heat damage from bluing if your exhaust happens to run a little bit hot or any of the stuff that'll burn onto a muffler, a single wall muffler like you might see on some other stuff. These heat shields keep a little air gap between the shield and the pipe. So what that means is they're not very hot and if anything happens to bounce up off the road, detritus, dirt, you know, road salt, things like that, it's not gonna burn onto this because of that air gap. So it is a nice little value add that Vance and Heinz tosses in there. Related to this pipe though, is also the Vance and Heinz straight shot, which you can see up here. These are very similar mufflers. Also, you're getting that heat shield, but the straight shot, as you can see here, diameter wise, gives you that pencil pipe look. So if you like that classic look of drag pipes, skinny pipes on a Harley, a straight shots can get you where you wanna go. For those of you who like, again, that continuous diameter look, you don't want that swell or that flare you'll notice on some of the other mufflers, a straight shot mates up beautifully to your factory heat shields and gives you that continuous diameter look all the way through the exhaust. So it's another option from Vance and Heinz to give you exactly the look you want on your bike. 
One of the other odd ducks you can see down here is actually kind of a favorite of mine, a Cobra four inch slip on. And this thing obviously looks way different than the rest of the stuff on here because it's huge. It looks like it goes on a touring bike. And in a way it kind of does. This is made specifically for FLDs. So those of you who are rocking Dyna switchbacks, Cobra's got a direct bolt in muffler option for you. You don't have to go shopping for that hard to shop for bike. Cobra's got something that's gonna bolt right up to your motorcycle without much muss or fuss. Now, after having seen some of these, some of you are probably champing at the bit to go buy a pipe. Click the info button. You can scoot over to revzilla.com, use our bike finder, throw your bike information in there. We're gonna show you all the stuff that's gonna fit your motorcycle. However, some of you too are still in the education phase or might be on the fence between a set of mufflers or a full system exhaust. Set tight, we're gonna get to the full systems in just a sec. All right, let's jump right into the full system exhaust section. If you've got a big twin non-touring Harley and you're examining exhausts that are available for your bike, most likely you're wondering whether you should opt for a slip-on system or if you need a full exhaust system. So any exhaust you get from us, regardless of whether it's gonna be slip-ons or a full system, is going to offer you great looks and great sound. That's a given. What you're gonna get with a full system that you're not necessarily going to get with a mufflers only system is an exhaust that's designed to do a couple different things. It's gonna make a little bit more power and could potentially look considerably different than a factory system. And I can explain why that happens pretty succinctly for you. The designers of the aftermarket exhaust aren't locked into any type of a Harley head pipe like they would be on a mufflers only system. Because they're not only designing 50% of the system, they're designing the entire thing, they have a little bit more freedom. That allows them to make exhausts that make more power and also can look a lot more aggressive, a lot more different than some of the stuff you're gonna see with just a slip-on style exhaust. So I've got a couple of favorites up here, staff favorites and also good sellers for us here at Revzilla. Exhausts that have really stood the test of time and made a lot of Softy and Dyna owners happy over the years. So I'm gonna start out here with the Reinhardt two into one system. This is a very traditional two into one, a very long system. It's gonna develop good torque because of that two into one design, which is a little bit different than your factory two into two system. But the thing to remember here is again, the exhaust designers have a little bit of freedom. So one of the spots they have some freedom on this pipe, you can't actually see. You'll see these full heat shields. This looks like a nice continuous diameter pipe, presents a really nice look from the outside. However, once those shields are taken off, you can actually see that this system is developed using several different sizes of pipe. So what, they, what the manufacturers wind up doing is expanding the pipe diameter as you go down the system. And what that does is allows exhaust gas traveling through the system to rapidly expand to fill that new larger volume. And in doing that, the exhaust velocity is kept nice and high. The exhaust ev evacuates the system very, very quickly. The other thing you'll notice too with a two into one style system here is that these systems traditionally promote scavenging. Scavenging is kind of an interesting phenomenon. As one jug is expelling its exhaust gas, what that actually does, believe it or not, because the pipes are joined, is helps the other jug pull in its incoming air and fuel charge. It's kind of a nifty phenomenon, it's something you're not going to get with a factory exhaust, and it's definitely a benefit that comes with a full system exhaust. Speaking of some of those performance benefits, one of the things to remember, if you are in the market for a full system exhaust, these are going to help you performance wise on their own, but you should definitely be considering a full system setup if you're planning on doing some other modifications. So for those of you who are considering some crazy head work, maybe some really aggressive cams, a big bore kit, a full system exhaust is gonna help you get the most from those other power adders too. Let's move on over here. I've got the Arlen Ness by Magnaflow F-Bomb exhaust here. Also a two into one system. This is significantly different than the other two into one you see over here. Even though these are similar looking exhausts, they use different technologies and things are just a little bit different between the two exhausts. So you'll notice this system is significantly shorter. This is a very racy, aggressive exhaust. You can see too how short this megaphone is here. The volume on this system is impressive to say the least. Now, rather than using continuous diameter head pipes on this particular exhaust, what Arlen S and Magnaflow have chosen to do instead is employ power core technology. So the power core is kind of cool. It's actually a substrate that fits into the muffler. And what that does is actually promotes laminar flow. For those of you who aren't familiar with laminar flow, what it does is it encourages the exhaust to move out of the exhaust in a nice orderly fashion. Think about um, playing cards in a deck of cards sliding neatly past one another. That's what the power core does. It gets the exhaust gases moving in a uniform way out of the pipe and that's how this pipe develops its power. You can also see here too looks wise uh, chrome shields in this again heat shields all the way down this thing gonna be a good solid looking exhaust it's gonna last you a long time too the coatings on here are top-notch. So moving out to round things out, we have up here a set of Super Trap 
Paul Yaffe crack pipes. Aside from having one of the coolest names in the exhaust business, the crack pipes help highlight my other point. So the exhaust manufacturers aren't just able to make power necessarily with their uh, full exhaust design, but the other thing they can do too is redesign the system for a drastically different look. So you'll notice these pipes appear to be cocked and that's actually not them sitting crooked. This is how they sit on the bike. They have this nice aggressive kick up and out. That wouldn't be possible with a regular, you know, Harley head pipe on there. It's just not a possibility because those are exiting at a different angle. So the full system exhaust, in addition to possibly getting you more power, can also allow for a different looking exhaust. I don't think this thing needs much introduction. It's obviously very, very aggressive looking. You can see these corner cut heat shields in here, totally different look. These uh, end cut tips here um, are actually fairly complex. These are gonna give your bike a really aggressive look. These are also unbaffled pipes too. These are really are very similar to a drag pipe. So they're also gonna give you a crazy aggressive sound to go with the already in your face look on here. This is gonna be a great option for those of you who are building a look at me bike. This is something you wanna think about putting on there. So at this stage of the game, I know a lot of you are probably thinking about the installation. You're gonna have a shop do it for you, you're gonna do it yourself. Can you do this yourself? Let's get right into some of that. It's really not too bad, whether you go with a slip-on system or a full system. I'm gonna call most of you guys with a mufflers only system, a slip-on system. You're in our one beard category in our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. Really is fairly simple to get a set of mufflers onto your motorcycle. It's a straight bolt on, bolt off sort of a procedure. If you've got basic hand tools and a modicum of you know, smarts when it comes to wrenching, you should be able to swap out your mufflers, no sweat. I would say most of you will have the job done in well under an hour. You should be out and about putting around listening to your new exhaust. Those of you guys who are putting a full system on your rig, you've got a little bit more work to do. I'm gonna say that bumps you into the two beard category in our BSD. The reason that bumps into two beards is kind of two and threefold. There's a few different reasons. Firstly, you physically got more pipe to take off the bike and put on the bike. It's just gonna take you a little bit more time. One of the other things those of you on fuel injected bikes are gonna be contending with too is oxygen sensors. They require both a special tool and a little bit of knowledge to extract them. Shouldn't be a big deal if your bike's not too old, but again, without that tool, you may wind up damaging some oxygen sensors. So if you're not familiar with removing oxygen sensors from a pipe or you don't have the tool, employ a buddy. They should be able to see you through the job. It really is easy though, don't be scared. The big thing though, I think that kicks you up into that two beard category is that you just need a little bit of time. If you've been examining a full system exhaust, no doubt you've heard me or someone else tell you're probably gonna need to make some fuel system modifications, and that is absolutely true. If you're on a carved bike, you're gonna need to be rejetting your carburetor, and for those of you on fuel injected bikes, you're gonna need a fuel control system of some sort. Now, none of that's exceptionally difficult. In fact, um, it really is just time consuming. You're gonna put your exhaust on there, and then you're gonna do some map tweaking. You really have to dial in your bike to make sure it's gonna respond well to the new exhaust and any other power adders you may have added to your motorcycle. It's the sort of thing, like I said, I have a good time doing. You just wanna make sure you set aside a Saturday afternoon to, uh, to properly give yourself the time to do the job correctly. Now, having said all that, most of you are probably at a fork in the road right now. Some of you are gonna to wanna to go purchase some exhausts, and some of you need to learn just a little bit more. Click that info button, and we can help you down either path. Those of you who need to, scoot right on over to revzilla.com, pick up an exhaust for your bike after you use our handy dandy bike finder. Those of you who need a little bit more education under your belt, I completely understand analyzing a situation is a smart thing to do. We've got plenty of common tread articles you can check out and also a couple of really cool product videos that might help you through the process. If you need a little bit more personalized assistance, don't be afraid to pick up the phone, give one of our gear geeks a call, 877-792-9455. You can also reach one by email, cs at revzilla.com. They're friendly, they're helpful, and a lot of these guys ride Harleys themselves, and just about everybody's got an aftermarket exhaust system on their bike as well. As always, I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.